What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and welcome back to the man cave. Today we have some really special upgrades over here in my gaming PC area. We're gonna talk about all the things I did to upgrade it. But first, let's give a huge shout out to Micro Center for not only sponsoring today's video, but giving me the tools I needed to figure out what I actually wanted to do with this setup. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, let me introduce you guys to the Micro Center Streaming Studio Builder. And the Streaming Studio Builder is similar to the custom PC builder that I showed you guys in a previous video, where it basically let you pick all the PC components that you would want for a build and have an easy way to configure it and pick it up from Micro Center if you wanted to. This is a pretty similar idea where you can pick all the different streaming components that you would want for your desk and have it all set up and then you can also pick it up from Micro Center. It makes it really easy to know and understand exactly what you need for your setup. And when you go to the site, you can see the different levels depending on how serious of a setup you would want. There's beginner, intermediate, pro for you pros out there, and wide open if you just wanna take the reins and do it all yourself. So I'm gonna go with wide open over here and show you guys my complete list on everything that I used for this setup behind me. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out, I'll have links down below in the description. So if you wanna become a professional streamer or maybe even just do it for fun, but you don't really know where to start or what you'll need, that is going to be the perfect tool to get you started. And what's awesome is once you're done with your setup, you can go ahead and check out, purchase everything, and pick it up from Micro Center the same day so you can get immediately to your streaming or at least setting up your PC for your streaming. And if you guys want a free 32 gigabyte flash drive or micro SD card, I'll have links down below in the description for that coupon. All you have to do is go ahead and pick it up in store and there's no purchase necessary, so why not take advantage? But let's talk about what I've got going on over here. Let's get this gaming chair out of the way. Now, let's be honest. Elgato makes like all the streaming things that you'll need for a setup. They honestly just have everything you need to get started. So lots of Elgato here. So of course, first thing you'll need is a gaming PC. I've got my PC leak over here. It'll become Typhoon someday. <laughs> uh, we've been, that's been an ongoing joke for what, years now? Uh, but yeah, that's the PC that I'm using. I got everything hooked up to that. All right, Jay, where do I start? Uh, across the camera. Camera, <laughs> that makes sense. Now, you guys might notice, this isn't just a regular webcam. I've got one of my mirrorless cameras over here, the Sony a7 III. Best streaming quality you could possibly ask for, am I right? But having this as my streaming camera is all made possible. It's thanks to this little guy over here, the Elgato Cam Link 4K HDMI camera connector. So with this, I can just use an HDMI that gets plugged into my camera here, plug it into my uh, PC, and let me show you guys this quality. Let me get my chair back real quick. I'll pull up OBS, turn on my camera, and boom, check this out, you guys. That's your boy. Come on, tell me that's not the best looking webcam you've ever seen. This is the best. Right, Jay? Quality. It, uh huh, uh huh, it's dope. Now this is awesome for, of course, the quality. I can have autofocus, so if I ever wanna show something to the camera, boom, look at that. It's all just nice and quick. So this is just like the best kind of setup you can have. This is the most important thing when it comes to streaming besides the games. It's you, right? So that is awesome. Blows my mind today even. And of course, you guys might see to the left and right of it, we got some lights. Those are the Elgato Key Light Airs. And I can just pop into the software really quick over here and check this out. Look how big of a difference it makes once I turn them on. That's your boy. And now you would think I look fine before, but that's a big difference, you guys. You see me clearly. So those key lights are amazing. And what's awesome about them is right here from the software, you can control brightness, color temperature. So you can do all of that and it responds super quickly. So that is one of the biggest changes I made to this setup. Just having a mirrorless camera like the a7 III with all the lighting I need from just right here on the sides, it's amazing. Now, of course, we gotta make sure our audio is right. So I've also got the Elgato Wave 3 over here. So this is gonna be the streaming mic over here. Now, what's missing is like one of those nice long arms. I'm gonna get my hands on one of those, uh, but for now, it comes with a nice little stand that'll do the trick. And of course, you're gonna want that pop filter 
that you can just easily add on by just snapping it up. So when you're talking into the microphone, those P's don't pop too much, you know? Keep your audio clean. So yeah, that's the mic that we're using. Arm coming soon. I'll add that to the setup at some point. Just gotta figure out a way to make sure it, you know, stays clean. So in terms of streaming, seeing me, seeing me well, and hearing me, we got all of that covered. And all stuff from Elgato, which is crazy. But when it comes to visuals, there's one more thing that I just, probably my favorite thing with this whole setup, is this over here. This is Elgato's portable green screen with this hydraulic lift. Check it out, you guys. So you've got this big old case, which really isn't that big considering what we got here. And you can come on this side, check it out. You got, your, you got yourself a green screen. So this to me is just so cool. And I didn't even know this was available until I went on Micro Center site and saw it because I'm not really in the streaming world. So I don't really, I didn't know that this was a thing. Now, why would you want this? So if you're in front of the camera, you got a green screen behind you, you don't need to have that little cutout where people can see your background. They can just see you and the content that you're streaming. So if you ever watched a stream and you just saw someone's body and the content they're streaming, whether it's a game or whatever, this is how that's possible. And it's really cool. Like just having this whole system, this hydraulic system that you can just put it away just like that, that's, that's nuts. So this is probably one of my favorite things out of this whole streaming setup. It adds so much functionality and it's just portable. So yes, very, very happy about this. So that that's pretty much like all the streaming stuff that I would use kind of just to present myself on camera. Uh, but now when it comes to actually playing the games, we got some cool things as well. So now I will grab my gaming chair once more and let's talk about the setup. So our weapon of choice over here is the Corsair K95 RGB Platinum XT, crazy long name, but this is an awesome keyboard. Now, if you guys saw my Gamers Paradise videos, you know that I love the K95. It's a mechanical keyboard with Cherry MX Brown switches, so it's nice and clicky. It's got a nice wrist rest, so it just feels very comfortable to type on. And this thing is super customizable in terms of like the RGB lights. We got strips up here with moving lights. You can customize the heck out of this guy. That's one of my favorite things about it. And it just feels good overall to use. It feels high quality with the brushed aluminum all over. And it includes an extra USB port, which we have for our mouse over here. This is the Corsair Night Sword RGB mouse. Now this is an extremely comfortable mouse with a ton of customization as well. You guys can see we've got quite a few buttons. So if you wanna map different things to these buttons, have different controls, you can do that. What's also cool is that you can control the weight of the mouse by adding these different weights. So these different pieces of metal, you can kind of just throw in there. Me, I've got it all maxed out. I actually like a hefty mouse. So this feels very really comfortable to use. And with the K95 Platinum, I mean, you're in pretty good shape. So those are the weapons, but of course, you know, when you're playing your games, you need that nice clean audio as well. So you can make sure nobody's sneaking up behind you. So over here, we've got the Corsair Virtuoso RGB wireless headset. And guys, this is a nice premium headset with some over ear ear cups. And you also have this nice mic over here that you can remove if you want. And something that I like about this mic is that it has a built in mute button right here at the bottom of it. So I like the mute button being somewhere really accessible. Not to mention these are nice big ear cups with soft padding. So I can game with these for hours, not be a problem. And the audio, of course, does sound really clean. But it doesn't just stop there. We've got a couple of other things from Elgato in terms of streaming. So this is the Elgato Stream Deck. If you watch the Gamers Paradise, you'll see that I've mentioned this for years now. This makes it really easy to pop open applications. That's kind of how I used it. And I've also used it for shortcuts for editing when it comes to like doing video editing. But you can also use this to do all kinds of Twitch stuff that I'm not familiar with just yet, but I plan to be. If there are any folks out there who are pros at getting set up for streaming, hit me up. 
I think it's time. I know there's all kinds of things like overlays and different actions that one would use the Stream Deck for, but for me, I'll just use it to like pop open an application. Like if I wanna open up Chrome with the press of a button, pops up right over here. I can also do the same for popping open some games. So like if I wanted to open Titanfall, boom. Titanfall, that's like a old school game. Let's, 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 let's open some Apex, shall we? Chase like, no, don't do it. Don't do it, you'll get lost in Apex. I won't do it. I won't open up Apex Legends because we will be here all day. I'll get a match in or two and everybody's like, can we go home? <laughs> but yes, the Stream Deck is very convenient for just getting applications open and doing all those different Twitch actions that I'm gonna need to learn about. But for me, there's one more thing that's actually pretty important and that's this guy over here. This is the Elgato 4K 60S Plus. And with this, I'm gonna be able to add consoles to the streaming setup and be able to capture my content right from here. That's always a really big deal for me, being able to capture what's going on in a game like on a console because sometimes just grabbing a clip from Xbox, which lets you get a maximum of like two minutes in decent quality, that's not gonna cut it. So with something like this, I can have it connected to my PC, I can record entire matches and have it in like 4K. And if I don't wanna connect it to my PC, it has an SD card slot where I can just throw in an SD card slot, play my games and have it saved directly to the card. So lots of cool stuff when it comes to streaming and just capturing gaming content. I feel like I am ready to go when it comes to finally becoming a streamer. But you know what's missing? controller because I ain't ready for all this fire just yet you guys know I'm not gonna lie I ain't ready for all this fire when it comes to playing something like Apex so I'm gonna need my controller over here then we'll be talking we'll be streaming for real for real but what do you guys think of the setup and are you interested in watching your boy stream some games I think it'd be pretty fun for us to hang out and do that let me know with a comment down below if you'd be down for that I'll throw my twitch channel down below in the description and if you guys Wanna check out my Discord as well. I gotta give my Discord fam some love. Check them out as well down below. Uh, but huge shout out to Micro Center for making this an easy process in terms of knowing exactly what I need to get started. If you guys wanna get your streaming setup going, check the links down below. I'm telling you, check the links down below for everything. That's it, in the video. We'll talk later, guys. Peace. All right. Apex. Oh. A Apex. Oh. <laughs>